Hey everyone, it's Click here again, and today I have instructions for my LEGO Movie Optimus Prime. So, actually, I will have in the description a link to a uh, Google Drive, which will have all my studio files that I've made. So, you can download that, and if you have that program, you can, you know, look at all the how it's put together, and you can take things apart, put things back together, see how it all works. So, if that is helpful for you, feel free to go find that uh, studio file. It should be named Movie Optimus or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And just as always, I'll be doing these in sections, like the arms, legs, etc. And I'll also be showing you how to make these uh, weapons and the Dark of the Moon app pieces. So, let's get into it. Here are the pieces you'll need for one of the arms. Now you have one of the arms, and what you're gonna do is just mirror that whole thing. Here are the parts that you'll need for the upper part of the leg. have the Technic pin in them. And there you have one of those, and you'll mirror this as well. Here are the pieces you'll need for one of the lower legs.
make sure that you get this exactly right. two parts and swing this around and there you have one of the lower legs again mirror that here are the pieces you'll need for one of the feet We'll sort of tap in right there. Make sure you leave a little gap so you can take it apart later. And there you have one of the feet. So you're gonna mirror that. However, when you make the other foot, make sure that on this hinge clip right here, instead of a one by three, like on this side, you have it one by one. So that whenever you put this into cable mode, these will connect. And here are the pieces for the waist assembly. Have that in right there. this little side right here onto the back of this plate. Kind of like that. And then 
always have to waste so late. Here's the parts needed for the main core of the build. studs are facing forward when you put these on. Here are the pieces you'll need for one of the window sections. this to the middle like that. And there you have one of those, and you're going to mirror this just as well. Here are the pieces you'll need from one of the backpack sections.
transform this. Let me rotate this around. And swing this up. And then you're gonna make basically a mirror of this. So that you have two of them. Here are the parts I need for the roof of the truck. Two of these as well. You'll put one on one side, and then put the other on the other side. And then have it going towards, like away from the ball joints. If that makes sense. And then you're gonna rotate these. Next, I'm going to show you how to make his guns. Um, this is going to be the gun that goes in his right hand. If you want to make one for his left hand, just mirror this design. There you have one of his guns. Here are the pieces you'll need to make one of the swords, and these are actually symmetrical, so you can just make two of these. Have one of the swords. And last but not least, here we have the pieces for his Dark of the Moon abs. So, 
uh, these, you're just gonna make two of these, except one has one cheese slope um, flipped. So you're gonna have one going this way, and one going this way. And we'll just have a bit of a cubic piece. And here you have these pieces, and I'll show you how to change these out. So just bringing in this little section right here to change out his Dark of the Moon abs with these. You're going to take this piece out and replace it with this one. And then you're going to take this brick and this stud right here and replace it with this little assembly. Now go in there and do the same over here. So you can see that there. And it'll just act the same as the other one, pretty much. And now it's time to put him all together. So we're gonna start right here. I'm gonna take these two pieces and we will just connect like that. And now we can take these window sections. joints there and take the arms and plug them into those wall joints right there and we'll just get this secure right here so split this bring these down and then you can adjust this really however you can bring these up come to the back here Bring these all the way on the back, so they're laying as flat as possible. Bring these up, and tab them into the smoke sacks. Same over here. And ideally, you want these plates right here to be flush with the back piece. piece right here and this will tab in right here and then these two studs will go in right here and you're gonna lay this section right here in the center these can twist a little bit come back here and we're actually going to twist these around and these will go in those ball joints right there so you have to get them around those smokestacks but it's fine and then actually they should be attached like this so make sure you have the tile here, and then on the opposite side of this section right here, you have the tile. So tab these in just like that. Tab that in. And then you can angle these. sure these are squeezed in and just lay that flat. Now you pretty much have the upper body all done. And I'll make the legs right here. Very simply just connect all the ball joints. There's one leg. And same over here. Simply plug in the legs, and there you will have Prime all built up. 
So now that we've got him all built up, I'm going to show you how to transform him into his truck one. So, uh, also if you need help with going to robot mode, make sure to go see my review video. And, yeah, so first what we're going to do is, let's see. So we're going to detach the arms from the smokestacks back here. And bring these arms, these little arms out. And now we're going to spin these around and shift them forward. Like that. And we're going to rotate the forearm. Bring this little piece out, hinge it, and then kind of swing it like that. And then we're going to bring the thumb in close back the hand back in and then rotate it into the arm like that same over here and then bring the thumb in and close the hand out And then rotate the forearm over here as well. Then we're going to take this and make sure that this panel right here is perpendicular to this ball joint piece right here. And then you're going to fold this in. Like that. Do the same over here. Fold that down. And now what we're going to do, rotate this up, something like that. Just kind of get them out of the way so that you can bring these out and up, bring the head down, straighten these. And then you can straighten these little, uh, visor things as well. And now what we're gonna do is detach, um, this piece right here. So detach that. And that will allow this to detach from the back of the hips right here as well. And swing this forward. Then we're going to kind of lay the legs flat like this. We'll deal with this while we're up here. Bring these back. And then you're going to rotate them on this hinge piece. And then kind of get them straightened up. And you bring the head in gonna have it sit in between the windows there. And then you're gonna bring the arms in. And rotate this that way. Same over here. And get things straight. Then you can fold these windows in, or the doors I guess. Make sure you do that over here as well. So then we're gonna come to the legs. See right here, there's a little gap. You're gonna get your finger, and that should uh, detach it. You can accordion all this out. And you're gonna rotate this. Bring the knee pad in. And light, make sure it's laying flat with the inside of the thigh right here. I'm gonna straighten out this panel here. this arm of hinges. And you're going to bring this back straight. And then fold this out. Bring this toe. And this is going to 
kind of be situated like that. And coming to the wheels, make sure this is shifted all the way forward, and that this is that this wheel is straight. And now we'll do the same on this side. It's gonna be a little harder to see, but bring the knee pad in. I'm gonna make sure the wheel is shifted all the way that way. And then straighten out this panel on that ball joint. Rotate it out on that arm. Accordion, out, out, rotate, and hinge this out, bring out the little step, and these will actually tab together with that plate there, I'm um, sorry, make sure this is folded up as well, and then you can tab these together. all together. Uh, these arms are gonna actually come out like that. And this will kind of sit in between them. You can kind of see that there. And make sure these are folded up flat. And now we'll lay this all flat. Make sure this is at a right angle right there. This should all sit pretty nicely, especially once you get the front section in. Make sure this ball joint piece is as straight as possible. It may not be perfect, but... And then once that's fairly good, uh, -huh. uh, you can move on up here. So you can take the smokestacks here, bring them down, and shift them forward. Right there. And this can then come up and just kind of be positioned like this for now. I'm going to take this whole section, bring this out this out, and rotate it full 180, and you're going to bring this out, and you'll see that, that hinge right there, you're going to bring that, it's kind of a little hard to see with this, you're going to, yeah, rotate it 90 degrees on there, and then Rotate it, and then you're going to bring this in to the side of the truck. Then you take this piece, bring it inside of the fender here, and then you're going to connect it together right here. There's a stud, so just kind of connect it while it's out. Rotate the smokestack while we're here, and then this should kind of just sit along the truck. It does take a little bit of just kind of maneuvering things around. Make sure this is shifted up. So I'll rest nicely in there. And then you're going to bring these pieces around. I forgot to do that. Rest the fender right there. And there we have one side all done. And then again, we're going to bring this down and then shift the smokestack section forward. I like to rotate it so that this little faucet piece is kind of going into the bottom of the truck. And again, rotate this around. Hinge. Spin.
and then maneuver that down. Rotate that around. And swing that out. And here's where we can take this again. So you can bring this out just a little bit so you can kind of get your finger in there to tab that in. And then lay it flat against the truck. And there you more or less have Optimus Prime in his truck mode. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this build. And if you built it, let me know in, in the comments. That would be really cool. Um, if you have any trouble or you need any help, uh, let me know. Instagram is a good way to do that. I always forget to mention I have an Instagram account. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.